Hello, guys. Good evening, everybody. Good to see you. Hello, Rose, Juan, Camila. Hello, Juan, David, and Carlos, Ernesto. Good to see you guys. So let's start. Yo me han dejado solita, ¿verdad? No veo a nadie por ahí. <laughs> Hello, Carlos, Karina. Good to see you. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? ¿Qué tal su fin de semana? How was your weekend? How was your weekend? What did you do? Mal. In Mal? Rose? Are you okay, Rose? ¿Qué tal está, Rose? Que me asustó. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no no. I know, Rose. Oh, ok. Ok, ok, Rose. Pero se mejore, Rose. O, o lo que sea que esté pasando, right? Thank you. Ok. So, let's go to the class, right? And uh, today vamos a empezar. Veamos. Vamos a empezar con la asistencia, right? Y ya casi se acaban las clases. Qué rápido. No se me sentí del tiempo. Ya solo nos quedarían... Siete clases, right? Ya casi. Ok. Let's see. Vamos entonces to the attendance. ¿Está Alexi? ¿Alexi está? ¿Alexis? ¿No está Alexis? No. Ok, let's see. Veamos. ¿Benjamín Ramos? ¿Está Benjamín? No, yet. Ok, let's see. Carlos, yes, Carlos, there you are. Okay, Carmen, Lizeth, Carmen, Carmen. Carmen, no está, Carmen. Okay, veamos, Carolina Abigail. Carolina, no yet. David Alexander, yes, ahí está. Present teacher. Okay, Gabriela, thank you. Gabriela Saraí, yes, right. And uh, Grace, no, no yet. Sí, Ibeth, 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 no. Eh, sí, Juan Antonio. Present teacher. Ok, Juan Antonio, I'm sorry. Sí. Karen Ivón, ¿dónde está Karen? Ok. Sí, Karina Araceli. Karina. Ok, Gary, thank you, Karina. María Julia, no. Raúl Otoniel, Raúl. Raúl. Gracias, Miss. Thank you. Rose Hilda, yes, there you are, Rose. Okay, let's see. Selena, Selena, I oh, guess, ahí está. Esta, thank you, Jansi. No está Jansi. So, let's go to the class, right? Vamos. Okay, there we are, right? Okay, so tell me, what do you see in the picture? Let's see, uh, Carlos, what do you see in the picture? Tell me, can you describe the picture? What do you see? Uh, I see... Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, what are they doing? What are they doing? Uh, the man, uh, the white hair. Mm -hmm. uh, he, uh, he has glasses. Okay, he has glasses. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, the, uh, he's, uh, he's eating. Mm -hmm. uh, woman mm -hmm. uh, que le acompaña. What do you say? Close to her. Close to her. Uh, close to him. Es verdad. To him. Close, close to him. Mm -hmm. uh, she's drinking. Mm -hmm. uh, the other couple. Mm -hmm. uh, man, great yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he shows uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, 
the, the partner, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh, y the other couple. Um, al parecer, how do you say? Okay, it seems or it, it looks. It seems. Okay, it seems. Uh, talking uh, about something. Yeah, they are talking about something, right? Yeah. Yes, you described everything. Okay, pretty good. Okay, thank you, Carlos. What about you? What else could you add, Juan? What else could you add to the picture there? Uh, ah, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry, Juan, Juan. Mm -hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can see. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, some people mm -hmm. in, in a meet in a meeting uh, yes mm -hmm. in a meeting mm -hmm. uh, uh, two persons are um, talking mm -hmm. about I don't know could that work and other thing mm -hmm. or anything mm -hmm. uh, or the central partners, no sé cómo diría la pareja del centro. Eh, the, the, man, uh -huh, the man is uh, uh -huh. pidi pidiendo, ¿cómo se dice? Asking, el número, ¿no? asking her number. Asking about, about her number uh -huh. to the woman with the um, white t-shirt. Uh -huh. And to the left, yeah, are two persons, uh, uh, a man with, uh, well, no, the two persons are eating uh, potato, potato chips, potato, potato, potato chips. chips. Mm -hmm. Ah, y hasta ahí llegó mi English. <laughs> <laughs> As there you go, okay, okay, good. Yes, they are talking, they are eating. Uh, maybe they are talking about something, right? Okay, great. Okay, thank you, Juan. Okay, let's continue, right? Okay, no nos olvidemos que este día se va a quedar Karina Araceli. Ahí, Karina, este, today is your day, okay, Karina? Okay, vámonos entonces to the lesson, right? So in today's lesson, we're going to study about the questions, right? About the WH questions. That is going to be the topic for today. Okay, so let's go. And uh, vamos a tener este listening, right? Vamos a escuchar qué es lo que están haciendo y vamos a identificar quién es quién. Por ejemplo, quién es Paul, quién es Sophie, Elena, Roger, Sam, and Annie. Give me just a second. Les comparto el listening y ustedes me ayudan. ¿Sí? Okay, there it is. Me indican si pueden ver la pantalla. Can you see it? Yes, please. Okay, good. Yes, yes, yes. So let's listen. Okay, vamos a completar this box, right? Con de acuerdo a lo que están haciendo the, the persons, right? Okay, let's listen. Track 19. Who's who? Oh, no. I don't know anybody. Who are they all? Don't worry. They're all very nice. I'll tell you who everybody is. Can you see that man over there? The man near the window? Yes, that's Paul. He's talking to Sophie. He's a banker, very rich and very funny. He works in New York City. Wow, so he's Paul. Okay, and that's Sophie next to him? Yes, she's laughing at Paul's jokes. She's really nice. She's a professor at New York University. She teaches business studies. And who's that woman on the left? 
That's Helen. She's drinking orange juice. She's a writer. She writes stories for children. They're excellent. A very nice woman. And who's that man she's talking to? Helena's talking to Roger. Roger's eating chips. He's an interesting man. He's an art dealer. He works for the Museum of Modern Art. Really? Wow. What a job. So that's Paul and Sophie, Helena and Roger. Now, there are two more. Who are they? They're Sam and Annie. They're looking at photos on Sam's phone. And what do they do? They're designers. They make clothes for children. Okay, so that's everybody. Thanks. No problem. Okay, guys, tell me. Okay, how many, cuántas pudimos escribir? Completar, how many could you? Mm -hmm. A mitad de una, póngalo de nuevo. A mitad de una. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, one more time, una vez más. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay. Let's see. Track 19, Who's Who? Oh no, I don't know anybody. Who are they all? Don't worry, they're all very nice. I'll tell you who everybody is. Can you see that man over there? The man near the window? Yes. That's Paul. He's talking to Sophie. He's a banker, very rich, and very funny. He works in New York City. Wow, so he's Paul. OK, and that's Sophie next to him? Yes. She's laughing at Paul's jokes. She's really nice. She's a professor at New York University. She teaches business studies. And who's that woman on the left? That's Helena. She's drinking orange juice. She's a writer. She writes stories for children. They're excellent. A very nice woman. And who's that man she's talking to? Helena's talking to Roger. Roger's eating chips. He's an interesting man. He's an art dealer. He works for the Museum of Modern Art. Really? Wow. What a job. So that's Paul and Sophie, Helena and Roger. Now, there are two more. Who are they? They're Sam and Annie. They're looking at photos on Sam's phone. And what do they do? They're designers. They make clothes for children. Okay, so that's everybody. Thanks. No problem. Okay, guys, let's see. Okay, how many did you get? Let's see. Um, Gabriela, how many? How many, Gabriela? No, teacher, me voy a fallar. <laughs> <laughs> ok, ok. Veamos, Carlos. How many, Carlos? Eh, from eight? How many? De ocho, from eight? Oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. eh, I only, I, is, I, I am trying to eh, detectar quién era quién. <laughs> ok, ok, ok. Veamos, ¿quién era Sophie? Who was Sophie? I think Sophie mm. eh, is Mrs. Miss. Okay, eh, is this one? Can you describe yes. it? Yes. Okay, yeah, can you describe yes. Sophie? Sophie, eh, he wears uh, uh, violet, I think. <laughs> mm, I think. The man uh, uh, blue, uh, yeah. he, he, yeah. he is a banker. Okay, he's <laughs> a banker, okay. Mm -hmm. And he, the woman, uh, the red blue dress is um, Sophie. Okay, okay. Okay, the Carlos. Couple, okay. okay. Okay, Carlos says that the blue one with the blue dress, right? Yes, Carlos? Yes. Okay, yes. he says that this one is Sophie. What do you think, guys? Is cierto que if this one is Sophie? Is this Sophie? Yes. Yes, yes right? This is going to be... Okay. This is going to be Sophie, right? Sophie, yay. Okay. What about uh, this man? What about this one? Who is this guy? 
Paul. Yes, it's going to be Paul, right? Going to be. <coughs> yeah. Okay. What about this person? Can you say who is this? Elena. Oh yeah, it's going to be Elena, right? And what about this guy? Roger. Roger. Roger, right? Roger, my game. And uh, what about they? Who are they? Sam and Annie. Sam and Annie. 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 Okay, vamos a ver las descripciones. ¿Qué es lo que ellos hacen? Okay, Sophie, what's she doing? ¿Qué es lo que ella hace? What's she doing? Or what does she do? She is professor of New York City. Exactly. She is a professor. Yes. She is a professor from New York University. Exactly. Pero okay, esa no sería el otro lado. Ahí. What's oh yes, 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 exactly. Okay. So what is she doing? <laughs> Talking to Paul. <laughs> Yes, yes, right. She's not talking. She's talking to Paul. Pero también dijo una palabra. She is. Se escuchaba ahí al fondo que ella se estaba. Riéndose. La jugó, la. Yes. She is. She really is nice. laughing. She is laughing, ¿verdad? Se está riendo. At Paul's jokes. Cerca de las chistes de... The Paul right, Paul jokes. Okay, vamos entonces con Elena. Who is Elena? Elena. Mm -hmm. Who is, what, what is she doing? What is she doing, Elena? Talking to Roger. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's yeah, talking yeah. to Roger. Mm -hmm. Can be, right? She's talking to Roger. ¿Qué más? Pero también dijo algo importante. She's talking to Roger. ¿Y qué es lo que ella hace? What does she do? ¿Qué es lo que ella hace? What does she do? Drinking, ah, no sé qué. Estaba tomando algo de cielo. <laughs> she, she's drinking, right? Juice. ¿Pero qué es lo que ella hace? What is her profession? Um, no entendí. Ok, no get it. Ok, ¿alguien, alguien que eh, escribió esta? Es no mm -hmm. se siente muy bien. She is a writer. That's right. She is a writer. Yes, that's good. Es una escritora. Es una escritora, right? De, de cuentos para niños. She is a writer for babies. Ok, what about Roger? Who is Roger? What does what what is he doing in this case? ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo? What is he doing? ¿Qué está haciendo? He's, he's eating. Yes, he is eating, right? He is eating potato chips. Potato chips. Potato chips, right? And what does he do? ¿Qué es lo que él hace? What does he do? He's a chef? No. No, he is an art dealer. Art dealer, son como los encargados de, de las galerías, right? An art dealer. What about Sam and Annie? What or who are they? They are looking a photo. Yes, right. They are looking. Looking at Annie's photos. They are looking some pictures. Okay, what about what do they do? What do they do? What do they do? ¿Qué es lo que ellos hacen? Mm -hmm. No entendí. They are designers. Designers. Okay, pero estamos bastante bien, right? Solo unas dos. ¿Qué okay, designers? Designers yeah. son los diseñadores, right? Pueden, pueden ser interior designers, yeah. graphic designers, entonces son los diseñadores. 
Ok, vamos a escuchar entonces el audio y vamos a ver el, eh, la, el script, right, para que identifiquemos. Okay, let's see. Teacher, yo no escucho, no sé si solo yo. Veamos. Se oye. No, no se escucha. ¿No se oye? No. Qué raro. Bueno, ya está, ya está compartiendo el sonido. Y veamos ahora. ¿Ahora? ¿Se escucha? No. 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 Pues, no compartir nuevamente. ¿Ahora? ¿Me escucha? Sí. ¿Sí? No. No, escucha. Qué raro. Yo sí lo estoy escuchando, pero no entiendo por qué. Veamos. Ah, sí. Sí. Otra vez no, Tiche. No, se oyó como que al principio de ella no se oyó. Ah, pues no, no sé qué pasará, no sé. Y también como que ya hizo que Zoom me estaba fallando, no sé si eso tenga que ver con, con esto también. Ok, vamos entonces, les continúo. Como que ha estado fallando WhatsApp y todas estas, ¿verdad? Instagram, Facebook. Dijeron que también son, entonces no sé si. Sí, pues, está fallando porque usted se escucha bastante entrecortado. Sí, puede ser que sea eso. Bien, let's continue lo que podamos, right? Ok, vámonos entonces tú de. Voy a estar trayéndoles eh, más vocabulario, right? Y parte del vocabulario es este que el nativo, right? El que ellos ocupan bastante. Por ejemplo, tenemos esta palabra que es keep going, que lo van a escuchar bastante, que significa continue. Keep going. Ok, me ayuda, Benjamin, can you read the example about keep going? Keep going, what is that? ¿Me puede ayudar con los ejemplos, Benjamin? Can I stop? Hola, hola, Benjamin, ¿me escucha? Hola. Le oigo bien suavecito, por ejemplo, el audio casi no lo escuché nada. Va, está no bien. Sé si es la compu mía la que falla. O ah, ok, ok, ok. Ok. Este, vaya, no sé. me decía. Si ¿Sí puede leer, puede ver la pantalla, Benjamín. Va, va, sí, sí. Sí, ok. Me ayuda eh, con more examples. More examples. ¿Eh? Eh, can I. Can I stop running? Uh, no, keep going. You need the start sign. Mm -hmm. Should, should mm -hmm. we stop working at six o'clock? Mm -hmm. No, let's keep going until eight o'clock. Ok, so there you have, entonces la palabra keep going es cuando se dice, ok, continúe por esa parte, keep going in this section, keep going in this street, esa es la palabra, right, keep going means continue to something. Ok, vamos a ver entonces, no sé si hay dudas de esta palabra, keep going, no questions, ok. So let's move on to this video, vamos a ver entonces this video about the astronauts. And uh, would you like to be an astronaut, guys? ¿Les gustaría ser un astronauta? What about uh, you, uh, David? Would you like to be an astronaut? Uh, no, teacher. Okay, why not? Tell me why. Uh, because 
I uh, more time uh, mm -hmm. for the family. Okay, you want to spend more time with your family. Okay, that's good. What about you, Raul? Raul, would you like to be an astronaut, Raul? Yes. Why? Bueno. Mm -hmm. um, no, no, no. <laughs> no, why no. not? Por qué no? Um, <clears throat> Astronauts in a space uh, station is no. Why not? Um, uh, I I can't see my family. Oh yes. Every, uh, the every day is there. Yeah. Um, after yes. a long time so, yeah right yes no, no. <laughs> okay yes right you are going to be so far away from your family right okay vamos a ver entonces this video about a day in life of an astronaut right what is it like to be like an astronaut no different from ours on earth sleeping eating working doing sports ¿Me diga, si, si escuchan si se escucha el audio sí Yes. Okay. And personal hygiene are all still part of the daily routine. However, due to zero gravity, these things are associated with some challenges and difficulties and take up more time and require more effort for the astronauts. In the morning, the astronauts can decide when exactly they want to get up. They have to attend the morning conference with the ground stations to discuss the daily schedule though. The clocks on the ISS are set to London time to make sure that astronauts from different countries do not sleep and work at different times, because there aren't really day and night on the space station, since within a span of 24 hours, the sun rises and sets several times. Showering and brushing your teeth in the morning aren't as easy as you might think. After all, there is no running water on the ISS, because the droplets would simply float around in the room, and there would be a risk that they could get into technical equipment and cause it to break. Water is therefore made available in bags with a straw, similar to drinking bottles. First, you squeeze out a droplet of water, then you pick it up with your toothbrush. After that, you repeat the same thing with your toothpaste. For cleaning yourself, you can either use wet cloths or a shower head which you have to press directly onto your skin, and which immediately sucks in the used water afterwards. The toilet does not work with water but with negative pressure. If they don't want to hold themselves in place for the whole time, the astronauts have to strap themselves to the toilet. There's even a system on the ISS which can purify urine and turn it into drinking water. The wet cloths for cleaning themselves are hung in a drying room where the water is processed and reused as well, since the astronauts can't simply take tons of water with them to the space station. Luckily, astronaut meals from a tube don't exist anymore. Now, astronauts eat normal dishes, which are taken to the space station in the form of cans or simply freeze-dried. Later, dishes like pasta with a nice sauce or vegetables and meat can be eaten in space. The menu is put together on the ground, and each of the crew members gets three meals with some snacks a day. If they get hungry, all they have to do is moisten and warm up the food and then eat it directly from the container with a spoon. However, they have to make sure to bring the spoon to their mouth fast enough to keep the food from floating around in the air. Crumbs or grains are avoided as well as possible, since similar to the water, the crumbs could get into cracks. Space bread has a wrap-like consistency, and the food is generally quite soggy. In addition, the dishes are flavored much more than on Earth, because zero gravity causes much more blood to flow into the upper body and the head, so that the mucous membranes swell, as when having a cold, this causes you to not be able to taste much. Sports and fitness are particularly important in space. Every day, the astronauts have to exercise for two hours to counteract any muscle loss caused by the minimal strain due to weightlessness. For this, they have to use stationary bikes and lift weights. Back on Earth, they have to continue that for a while and also strengthen their bones, as these often get softer in space as well. During the day, the astronauts carry out the planned research and experiments and take care of any household chores at the station. After having dinner together, there is another conference with the ground stations to transmit the results of the day. Afterwards, the astronauts are finished and can play board games, watch movies, call their families, or enjoy the breathtaking view of the Earth. On the ISS, the astronauts have single cabins for sleeping. Because of zero gravity, they have to strap themselves to their sleeping bag, which is strapped to the wall. Even though they can't feel the pressure of a mattress in space, some astronauts attach their sleeping bag to a board or the like in order to have a familiar feeling while falling asleep. 
During his stay on the ISS, almost every minute is carefully planned and interruptions due to illnesses are a big problem. In space, the immune system is weakened, making astronauts more susceptible to disease, which is why hygiene and cleanliness are of the highest priority. There is also a small space pharmacy at the station, which supplies the astronauts with various medications. Many astronauts are also plagued by the so-called astronaut disease, because in weightlessness, the organ of equilibrium does not work properly so that, during the first few days, most astronauts on the station will experience severe nausea. There is also something called space fever. During their stay in space, the body temperature of the astronauts increases steadily until it settles at 38 degrees, which, strictly speaking, means they live with a permanent fever. With physical effort such as sports, which we learned is mandatory in space, this fever sometimes even rises to 40 degrees. Being an astronaut is probably the coolest job in the world, but it's also pretty tough. Would you want to be an astronaut if you had the opportunity to be one? Write it in the comments. <laughs> Until next time, bye! Okay, would you like to be an astronaut, guys? Um, sabiendo todo eso, knowing all of that, would you like to be an astronaut? Por ejemplo, no. <laughs> sees your right every day, la comida que tiene que estar eh, conectada a ciertas horas, el experimento. So, la forma de cómo duerme. Would you like to be an astronaut? What about you, Benjamin? ¿No le gustaría ser un astronaut? Oh, oh why not? ¿No le gustaría? Ay, ¿cómo se dice? Ay, a fryos. Ay, ¿cómo se dice? Miedo a las alturas. Oh, to heights. You are afraid of heights. Ok, yes. Ok, ya me imagino. No puede ir a... A ningún alto, lugar que sea alto, right? Me okay. tiembla el cuerpo cuando me subo a un palo alto. <ríe> ah, pues mejor va, va a durar más, no, no va a tener ese problema de caerse. Ok, that's good. So, ahí en el video mencionaron algo que es del ISS. Vamos a ver qué es eso, qué es lo que ellos hacen, right? Ok, I have this reading and I want you to help me. Ok, let's start. Can you help me, uh, David? A science laboratory. Can you help me? Okay, teacher. Okay. Uh, science laboratory. Uh, 240. 240 miles from Earth. Mm -hmm. uh, preparation for a fight to Mars. Yeah. The International Space Station or I es es this boot of this okay tenemos entonces eh, the international space station es el significado del iss right okay vamos a ver de qué se trata what is that about can you help me jancy the first paragraph that this very moment the is e is is ISS? orbiting mm -hmm. iss is orbiting her at a distance of two hundred two hundred miles forty uh, miles mm -hmm. four miles mm -hmm. and no sé cómo three hundred three hundred sixty kilometers three hundred sixty kilometers three hundred sixty kilometers kilometers in his flyer at uh, seven uh, <laughs> Me puse lo más difícil, los números. Ok, no problem. Vamos a ver eso. Ok, no problem. Les voy a leer yo. Entonces tenemos 17,000 meters per hour. Entonces tenemos 28 kilómetros per hour. Ok, continue. It, it goes, goes, it goes uh -huh. around here 16 times a day. Uh -huh. It took more. Thing, están en el, en el espacio, right? 16 veces al día, 
y tomó más de 100 millones, billones de dólares, right? En 14 años construir todo lo que vemos in the space. Ok. Can, yeah, it's a lot of money, right? Okay, what about the station? ¿Qué pasa en the station? Rose, can you help me? The first part of the station went into space in 199, 900, no, perdón, teacher. Ok, 1998, right? 1998, mm -hmm. astronauts started to live on in the November 2000. There are usually three astronauts on board and they stay for about six months at a time. Over the year, there have been over 200 visit, visit, visitors, visitors. visitors from 15 different countries. Supply chips arrive about eight times a year. Ok, ahí tenemos, right, que ellos están en el espacio por six months, right? Y que el primer, eh, el primer station, la primera station fue en uh, 819. Podemos leerlos en pareja, ¿verdad? Lo, las fechas las podemos leer en, en pareja también. Tenemos 1998, o podemos leerlo de la otra forma que es 1998. Vamos a hacer un repaso de los números. Ok, let's see the goals. Ok, what about the goals? Can you help me, Carlos? What about the goals? For uh, space agencies in the United States, Russia, Japan, Canada, and Europe are working together. They are using the zero gravity of space to do experiments in biology, physics, physics mm -hmm. and astronomy. They are learning about living in space for a long time and the effects of the, of the human body. The astronauts are growing plants to make oxygen, oxygen, They are studying earth weather and, to, and geography. And they are looking at planets and stars to understand the origin of the universe. Ok, so imagine, right? Ellos están tratando de encontrar el origen del universe. Están estudiando the stars, the earth, in order to find that. What is the origin of the universe for you guys? ¿Cuál es el Origin. Es una pregunta un poco compleja, right? It's a complex question. What about uh, you, uh, Benjamin, por ejemplo? What do you think is the origin of the universe? Unos piensan que venimos de, de una explosión, right? Uh, some others think that we, uh, like, uh, there are some other species around. What do you think, Benjamin? It is the origin of the universe. Eh, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Ok, ok. Try, try. I'm going to help eh, you. Eh, que no, no venimos de una explosión. Yes, right. Yes, definitely right. There are uh -huh. some uh, theories, right? Algunas teorías, pero eso es very complex, right? Humans quieren encontrar una answer, an answer. Okay, what about an astronaut's day? What do they do? Yvette, can you help me? What do they do? An astronaut's day. Okay, an astronaut's day. An astronaut, an astronaut work for 10 hours a day during the week and five hours on the Saturday. They rest for the time they are this free. Free. Good. Mm -hmm. They make make it up uh, sips and have breakfast. There is a meeting and they make play for the day. They have an hour for lunch. 
then work until dinner at six. Seven? Uh, seven. Uh -huh. Light or out is the. Night thirty. Night thirty. 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 They exercise for two hours every day because. Hey, hey, weightlessness. Weight affect the body, muscular, muscle, muscle, muscles, and muscles, bones. muscles and bones. Muscles and bones. Muscles and bones. Muy bien. Tenemos que realizan a lot of activities, right? Ellos tienen el breakfast a las six. Six. No dice si es a.m. or p.m. from here, right? There is a meeting, tienen una reunión y planean lo que van a hacer durante el día. Y ellos sí tienen que hacer exercise, right? Two hours every day. Porque no hay, eh, no hay como, there is no gravity there, right? Weightlessness affects the body's muscles and bones. Okay, what about the food? ¿Qué pasa con la comida? Eh, can you help me, Grace? Oh, Grace, are you there? Yes, teacher. Y me ayuda con la food, please. What happens with food? Espérame, que yo había hecho grande la imagen. <laughs> food. There, there is not real kitchen, but mm. there is a kitchen table. As food comes in cans or en, no me envelopes. Cómo se envelopes. envelopes. Mm -hmm. There is fresh fruits only when a supply of corn. Sí, verdad. Sheep comes, astronauts, yes. Astronauts ate with a spoon. It's a good idea to have food with a salsa so that it stays mm -hmm. on the spoon and does not float away. They like a spicy food because in space the sense of taste is not very strong. Ok, uh, there you see, right? Tienen que comer como comida muy condimentada, right? Spicy food. Porque in the space no hay ningún sabor, right? There is no taste. Eh, que, no sea, is, que no sea strong, right? Ok, so very interesting, right? Imaginémonos que no hay este tipo de gusto que tenemos here. Ok, what about personal lives? Me ayuda, eh, Raúl. Personal lives, what happened? Okay, personal lives. They have their own sleeping compartment. Uh -huh. They also sleep in bags at at the chair. To the to the wall wall. To the wall, yeah. To the wall, uh, because there is no up or down in space. They sleep. Uh -huh. Es no sé si una una la post. Temperature is always 72 Fahrenheit. Okay. Oh? The slips standing up. Uh, they have the, their own clothes and books and laptops. The temp temp temperature. Temperature. Mm -hmm. temperature is always uh, 72 Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. uh, so astronauts usually wear shorts and t-shirts. There isn't a shower, but there are two toilets in their from time. In their mm -hmm. from time, they send emails home read and play games but way but what they like to the most in look out of windows at her below okay so imagine lo que más le gusta hacer a ellos es to look right to look out of the window and see the earth okay no me imagino estar tanto tiempo but to see the earth all the time I don't know, no sé, I wouldn't like. No sé ustedes, right? Okay, to see all the time the earth. Mm. Okay, let's continue. Can you help me, uh, 
Let's see, eh, Benjamín, no sé si alcanza a leer, Benjamín. Future of the ISS. A intentar. Ok, ok. Eh, the ISS is the free of many space, space station. Mm -hmm. eh, there isn't a day eh, just for a man, men. Uh, try to march, mm -hmm. but the space urgency are already talking about one thing is your is your is sure uh, at some time in the 21st 20, 21 century mm -hmm. is what will Definitely okay. happen. Happen. Okay, there. Eh, en la actualidad, sí, verdad, está Space Elon Musk que está tratando como que de impulsar que los humanos vayamos como como un trip ride to the space. Okay, this is happening. Okay, eh, según el texto, me indican cuántas oraciones encontramos del presente continuo. How many sentences? Can you tell me? Give me one, let's see, uh, Gabriela, give me one sentence that shows the present continuous. Hello, Gabriela? What is going to be? What's that, Gabriela? Hello? Okay, let's see, uh, Selena, una oración que me indica el presente continuo, a sentence that tells me the simple the present continues, Selena. Okay, Jancy. Hello, Jancy. Una oración que me indique el presente continuo. ¿Cuál sería? En el de, primer... lo que, de lo que leímos o la tengo que formular? No, de lo que leímos, de lo que está en el texto. Okay. Uh -huh. Creo yo que at this very moment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No sé, usted me dice si es correcto o no. Uh -uh. No, no. No, no. Uh -uh. Está cerca, no. very close. ¿Cuál sería, guys? Una oración del presente continuo. They are studying her weather and geography. Ok, ¿de ¿en qué párrafo? La primera no. es the ISS is orbiting her. Exactly right. The ISS no. is orbiting right. The Earth, tenemos el verbo to be, y ING. Ok, another, another, another sentence. Was in a par paragraph. Huh? It is flying. Yes, Beth, very good. Sería it is flying. Tenemos el verbo to be and ING. Ok, another. Mm. Is going round? Mm, no, ese no sería el presente continuo. Ese sería el simple present. Okay. There okay, is veamos. A it is the most. Mm, no. ¿Dónde no. está el ing? Recordemos mm -hmm. que el presente continuo tiene el verbo to be y el verbo with ing, right? Ah, okay, sorry. En el de goals, en el de goals está una que dice they are using. The zero gravity. Oh, yes, right. They are using the zero gravity. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay, another. Mm -hmm. There are more. Yeah. Europe there are, are working together. Okay, so, escuché. Eh, they dígame. are learning about living in space. Okay, they are learning about living in space. Okay, another. Arriba. The they are, are growing plants. Okay, okay. Eh, escuché a Carlos. Another. Where, where is the one you said, Carlos? Tell in me. The second, in goals. Second goals, first, okay. Eh, eh, this is the Europe are working well together. Okay, where is that? Uh, Europe. Oh, yes, exactly right. Tenemos entonces a speech agency in the U.S., Russia, Japan, and Canada are working together, exactly. Nos hayamos percatado de esa, yes. 
another uh, one, guys. They are studying. They are studying. The astronauts are growing yes. plants. Yeah, right. The astronauts are growing plants. To make it. Yes, it to make the oxygen. Next, the next, uh, they the next are they are there. studying. They are studying Earth's weather. Earth's Están estudiando weather. el clima y la geography de la Tierra, right? Okay, what about they, in the next? Mm -hmm. they, are they are looking at planets. Oh, yes, they are looking at planets and stars. Okay, good. What about the next paragraph? Uh, as astronauts work for 10 hours. Teacher, mm -hmm. teacher, the station, there are usually three astronauts? No. What? Astronauts, in what paragraph? Yes. Which paragraph? Yes. Yes. The station, there are usually. Are usually no. No, no. Okay. Mm -mm. There uh, are usually no. Stay for about no. Uh huh. Where? There, there is a meeting. There is a meeting. No, porque estamos diciendo hay una reunión. There is es el el verbo haber. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, entonces tenemos the rest of the day. They are free. They are wake right. up. There is a meeting. No, esa no la podemos tomar como presente continuo. And they make plans for the day. They have an hour for lunch. Ok, aquí parece que no hay, right? Vamos con el siguiente párrafo. Food. There isn't a real kitchen, but there is a kitchen table. Let's see. Do you find another? No. Have their own sleeping compartment. They sleep. They sleep and studying. Mm, no. Ah, no tiene okay, verbo no. to be. Mm -hmm. That's the point, exactly. But tiene que estar el verbo to be y el verbo with ing. Let's see, another. The... Okay. okay, estamos bien, estamos bastante bien, right? Parece que ya no hay. Okay, good guys. Hemos identificado muy the bien. Lead. Yes. Uh -huh. Y donde dice. Ah, no, está otro. Que dice uh -huh. already talking about it. Oh, sí. yeah, right. Muy bien. But the space agencies are already talking about it. Yes, yes. Perfect one. Very good. Okay. Si no hay más, guys, let's continue. Identificamos el present continuous, right? Okay, let's continue. Okay, entonces vamos a las questions, right? Vamos a las preguntas. Ok, hoy vamos a ver cómo hacer preguntas utilizando el WH Questions. Entonces, primero veamos cómo hacer una pregunta eh, cerrada. Lo, lo único que vamos a hacer es escribir el verbo to be al principio. Por ejemplo, are you getting fat? Are you getting fat? ¿Te estás engordando? Y la respuesta puede ser corta. Yes, I am. O no, I'm not. Por ejemplo, is the teacher getting fat? Yes, she is. Or no, she isn't. Entonces, para hacer la pregunta, sí tenemos que tomar en cuenta que siempre tiene que ir el verbo to be al principio. ¿Ok? Verbo to be. Ok, no sé si hay dudas. ¿Questions? Ok, no questions. Good. Entonces, vamos a hacer tres preguntas. Right? Vamos a hacer tres preguntas. Yo les voy a escribir el sujeto y ustedes le van a agregar eh, lo restante para hacer una pregunta ok, en el chat box el sujeto que vamos a utilizar es de students podemos utilizar cualquier verbo right? en la segunda vamos a utilizar my friend vamos a hacer preguntas right? in the chat box and in the next one Okay. ok, in the chat box, les pediría que, que hagamos tres preguntas utilizando los tres sujetos que tenemos ahí. Y de una sola vez escribamos la respuesta, right? Ok, veo las, tres, las preguntas in the chat box.
¿ok? Podemos utilizar, por ejemplo, el verbo go, podemos utilizar el verbo study, we can use the verb, uh, hay unos que no los podemos utilizar, right? Uh, we can use, for example, cook, watch, we can use, for example, watch TV, listening to music, There are so many verbs. Oh, no, Juan, tenemos que hacerlo en el presente continuo, right, Juan? Okay. Tenemos que agregarle el verb to be, right? Tenemos que agregar el verb to be and the verb in ing, right? Don't forget that verb in ing must be essential there. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's do it one more time, Juan. Don't forget, no nos olvidemos de escribir la respuesta también. Okay, let's see. We can use, for example, the verb cook, the verb study. Um, we can use, for example, watch TV. Uh, we can use prepare to prepare, fix, verbal fix. There are so many verbs. Watch. Wash the dishes. Let's see another um, rest, for example, rest. Take a bath to right? Many. Okay, let's see. Okay, vamos. Yo tengo three. Okay, veamos. Okay, Benjamín. No nos olvidemos que es el, el progresivo. ¿va? Entonces, nos hace falta agregar el verbo with ing. Okay. Por ejemplo, esta parte del ing es el que se le está, no, no, la, no la vi en su... Ok, no, Benjamín, tenemos que utilizar de students. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, tenemos que utilizar el sujeto de students. Are, una, un ejemplo, are the students studying? Are the students studying? Yes, they are. Ok, Benjamín, tenemos que agregar el verbo con ing. Okay, hagámoslo one sí. more time. Okay. Let's see. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Ok, en su caso, Carlos, están perfectas, pero you, you didn't use the, the words, right? Creo que no utilizamos las palabras que les, que les agregué acá. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, ok, let's do it. Let's see, are you studying in class? Ok, lo mismo, ¿verdad? Y ¿verdad? tenemos que utilizar los sujetos que les he agregado en la, en la pizarra. Is my friend singing? Ok, perfect, Juan. Is my friend singing? Muy bien. No, he isn't. Ok, y Beth, está muy buena, Beth, pero tenemos que utilizar los sujetos. Ok, Beth. Ok, let's see. Are my brother and me doing exercise? No, we aren't. Excellent, Rose. There you have. 
Okay, is she studying English? Yes, she is. Okay, good. Perfect, Rose. Is my friend singing? Yes, Juan. Okay, espero un momentito para eh, ver las oraciones, right? Okay, are the students eating today? Yes, they are. Perfect, Gabriela. Much better, yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm my brother and I cooking. Um, hmm. En ese caso, Juan, como estoy, me estoy incluyendo yo, ¿verdad? Sería, yes, we are. Are my brother and I cooking? Yes, we are. Or are your brother, right? I'm my friends. Okay, Jancy, le hace falta ahí el verbo con ING, ¿verdad? El verbo que utilizamos después del sujeto. Por ejemplo, I my friends talking by phone. Okay, you can see. Or I'm are my friends taking pictures, right? Mm -hmm. No, se me, me está escribiendo mal. Okay, okay. Okay, got it. Okay, there we have. No sé si hay dudas acerca de las preguntas. How to do questions. Are the students playing football at the recess? Yes, they are. Perfect, Raúl. Excellent. Okay. Estamos bastante bien. No sé si hay dudas. Right, siempre, ¿verdad? El verbo to be at the very beginning. Siempre el verbo to be al principio, luego el sujeto. Y de acuerdo al sujeto vamos a elegir el verbo to be, right? Y luego el verbo con ing. Ok, y Beth, siempre, ¿verdad? El verbo con ING. Uh -huh. Que en este caso sería go. Are they going to the parties? Yes, they are. Ok. Ok, let's continue. Vamos a seguir practicando, right? This topic. Ok, let's continue. Ok, entonces tenemos cuando vamos a utilizar el continuous. When are we going to use the present continuous? Para cosas que están pasando en este momento. Por ejemplo, things happening now. Are you going to the cinema? Para actividades temporales, right? What are you studying? Situations of change. Y lo que vimos anteriormente, future arrangements, right? Are you going to the party? Yes, we are or no, we aren't. Ok, ahora vamos a practicar, right? Vamos a hacer preguntas utilizando time. Tenemos el ejemplo. It's 7.05. Entonces vamos a, hacer, vamos a utilizar el verbo, el sujeto, y vamos a utilizar el verbo to be para hacer preguntas. Ok, tenemos la primera. Is John having breakfast? No, he isn't. Or yes, he is. Ok, hagamos la pregunta number two. Ok, Rose, ¿cómo nos quedaría la number two? It's... Uh -huh. okay. Is uh -huh. he go to school? Okay, it's a. Is he going to school? Excellent. Is he going, going to, school? to school? La respuesta? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, muy bien. Okay, y Beth, hagamos la number three. It's. Uh -huh. It's 9.30. Uh -huh. It's 9.30. Uh -huh. Is, uh -huh. is he, is he sitting, is he sitting in the class? In the class, okay, puede ser, yes. He is. Ok, Raúl, la siguiente. Ok, Raúl, the next one, letter D. 
Twelve in John. Mm. No, 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 no. Mm. Eh, sería they. Un segundo. Mm -hmm. Tenemos el sujeto John and his friends. Yes. Sería 12, it is, is 12. Uh -huh. John. Uh -uh. No. No, no sé. <laughs> ok, let's do it, let's do it. Veamos. Eh, tenemos el sujeto John and his friends, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que ponemos al principio de las preguntas, Raúl? Verbo like to be. Verbo to be, muy bien. ¿Y cuál sería el verbo to be para John? Uh -huh. His friends. Are. Are. Muy bien. Are. Entonces, voy a decir, are John. John and his friends. And his playing, friends. Muy bien. Playing, playing football. Football. Muy bien. La respuesta, ¿cómo podemos hacer la respuesta? Yes. Yes. They are. Yes, they are. Muy bien. O también, en vez de poner John and his friends, podemos escribir they. Day. Okay, intentemos. Rose. Can you, oh no, Rose ya participó. Sorry, Rose. Sorry. Okay, eh, Carlos, me ayuda. Can you help me? Okay, <coughs> it's 12.45. Okay, it's 12.45. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, are you... Mm -hmm. Are you have lunch? Are you? Ah. Uh, Are you? <laughs> have? I having. can say having. Having, yeah, right, yeah. having. Si dejamos Yo have. tratando de acordar de las excepciones. <laughs> si estamos, <laughs> utilizamos have, en ese caso está completamente air right. No podemos decir are you have. Are you having, having lunch? Lunch. Muy bien. Are you having lunch? And the answer? Yeah. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, right. Yes, I am. Okay, there it is, right? Okay, what about the next one? Jancy, letter F. Letter F. It's... Jancy? Okay, let's do it, Jancy. It's... Uh, no puedo en este momento, teacher. Estoy en una llamada. Okay, okay, got it. It's 19.15, right? Okay, ¿cómo nos quedaría? It's 19.15. Are they... Exactly, Beth. Very good. Are they... Uh -huh. ¿Qué más, Beth? Are they... John and his family? Mm, no, estamos no. en la letter F. F. Okay. Uh -huh. Are they? John, are they? Hmm? John and are family. Having, yes, right, having. okay. Having breakfast. Mm -hmm. Están teniendo, están desayunando ellos a las nueve y quince, a las siete y quince. Okay, yes. are they? Yes, right. Yes, they are, muy bien. Vamos con la siguiente. Okay, can you help me, uh, Raúl? Uh -huh. It. Uh -huh. 21, 15. Uh -huh. 15. Uh -huh. Think. Is he uh -huh. relaxing? Is he relaxing? Yes, is he relaxing? And the answer? Yes. Yes. He is. He is. Muy bien. Very good. Okay. What about letter H? What about letter H? Benjamin, can you do it with me? Letter H, Benjamin. Uh, 22. Uh, uh -huh. It's 22. 30. 22, 30. Uh -huh. uh, 
Are you and are you, are you and, and your family and your watching, family watching TV? Watching TV, perfect, Benjamin. Watching TV. And the answer, what is the answer? Yes, uh, they are. Yes, they are. Excellent, Benjamin. Okay, no sé si hay dudas, questions. No questions? Okay, yes, perfect. Say, uh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, right. Yes, we are. Exacto. Exacto. Very good. No he dado cuenta tampoco. Yes, we are. Perfect one. Are you and your family, right? Okay, let's continue. Okay, ahora vamos, sí, vamos a trabajar y nos... Vamos a ver un tema más de los de las preguntas, right? Como al principio del objetivo vimos las WH questions que las vamos a utilizar con el, el presente progresivo, right? Present continuous. Tenemos las WH questions de who, quién, where, dónde, when, cuándo, right? Why, por qué, what, asking for information, how. De qué, de qué forma, cómo, right? Which, asking about a choice, por ejemplo, cuál, cuando tenemos dos opciones. How many, cuando sea algo contable. Y how often, qué tan seguido hacemos alguna actividad. No sé si hay dudas de algunas de las WH questions que tenemos acá. No questions. No, teacher. Ok, no questions. Ok, me I continue? Yes. Ok, good. Entonces, ¿cuál es la forma? ¿Dónde es que van? Lo vamos a utilizar al principio de la pregunta, right? What time is John leaving? ¿Cuál es la estructura? WH question al principio, el verbo to be, el sujeto, de acuerdo al sujeto, el verbo to be, y el verbo en ing. Ok, let's see. Juan, what time are you leaving the class? What time are you leaving the class? Tell me. Que leaving. Ay, ahorita me lo murió. Que leaving, teacher. Leaving es dejar o irse o retirarse. What time are you leaving okay. the class? Entonces, uh -huh. I am leaving at 10 o'clock. Perfect. I'm leaving at 10 o'clock. Ok, una pregunta. Hágale una pregunta a, yes. veamos, no sé si está Grace. ¿Está ahí Grace? Creo que no está Grace. Ok, a Carlos, a Carlos. Una pregunta utilizando WH question. Ya utilicé what time. Utilice otra que no sea what time. Grace. No, está para Grace, Carlos. No para Grace. Carlos. Para yeah. Carlos. Hmm. Yo utilicé what time. Carlos, ya no puedo utilizar okay. what time. Ok, entonces, Carlos, what, hmm. what are you doing? <laughs> ok, are you, Carlos. What are what, you doing? What are you doing? Uh, I am doing. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, I am listening. <laughs> I am. I am Oye. listening. I am ¿Sí, listening sí? The, the English class. Okay, I am listening the English class. Okay, Carlos, now ask a question to Rose. Ya no podemos utilizar what? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Una fase, Carlita. <laughs> Una fase. <laughs> Vaya, pues. Um, how is Rose feeling? Uh, I am um, feeling. <laughs> Estamos I... hablando de otra Rose. Ah, ok. Hey, another Rose. <laughs> ok. She's feeling nice. She's feeling nicer, better, right? Okay, good, Rose. 
Ok, ahora hagamos otra rose. Another one. Ay, ay, ay. Ok, tenemos acá más WH questions, right? Ok. Uh -huh. ¿A quién se la hago, Tich? Eh, let's see, to Ibeth, Ibeth, to Ibeth. Uh -huh. okay. Teacher, puede poner el otro cuadro? Oh, yeah, 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 sure I can. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Ibeth, uh... Ajá. Tenemos guay, we still have guay. ¿Qué me va a preguntar, Rose? Espérenme que se me ha ido la idea. Okay. Me tiene así como que. Um, guay. Le pregunto yo. Ok, Ibeth, go ahead, okay. go ahead. Why? Ok, el otro cuadro. Ok, ok, ok. Es que teacher, estamos confundidos. Where do you live, Rose? Mm, Where okay. is... Mm. Well, okay, ok, ok, ok. Ok, okay one more time. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Where... Where is... No, where are... No. Where are, where? You, do, where are you doing... Mm. No. Si decimos, where are, where are, you? are you doing? Estaríamos donde Yo, si lo traducimos, are... si lo traducimos, mejor no les digo. <risa> <risa> where are you? Mejor cambiémoslo, cambiémoslo. <risa> Ay, no. Where are you sleeping? <risa> where are you sleeping? Okay, okay. Where are you sleeping? <risa> where are you sleeping, Rose? <risa> I'm sleeping in my bed. Ok, you are sleeping, I am sleeping. <risa> in my bed, in my bed. Ok, good. Ok, ahora, eh, Juan, please, a question. Ya utilizamos where, ya utilizamos uh, what, ya utilizamos eh, where también. Juan, a question, Juan. To Raúl. Podemos utilizar, por ejemplo, why. Um, let's see, we can use which. We can use how many también, how much también. Uh -huh. ¿Está ahí? No, creo que no está Juan. Ok, Raúl, a question, Raúl, to me, una pregunta, Raúl, to me. Ok. Uh -huh. mm. Una que no se ha utilizado. Uh -huh. Tenemos how many, which, tenemos también who, why también. Ok. Um, how often you are playing football? How often you are playing football? Ok, el how often lo vamos, lo, vamos, lo vamos a quitar en este caso Porque el how often es más que todo para rutina Por ejemplo How often do you play football? Podría ser Ok, okay. Use another, utilicemos another one Otro, ok uh -huh. Sería Tenemos which What tenemos eh, what, ya lo utilizamos también. Sí. When. When, ok. Ajá, when también. Siempre con el present con, continuous. Yes, siempre con el present continuous. Ok, sería which, which vamos a usar which, which are... Which are. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> one second. Okay. And 
<risa> no lo sé. Se me fueron las ideas, ticho. What about who? Le voy a dar con who. Ok. Ok, who? podemos, por ejemplo, who are you dating with? Who are you dating with? ¿Con quién estás saliendo? Who are you dating with? Eh, uh -huh. I am dating uh -huh. with uh -huh. my works. <laughs> <laughs> You're dating with your work, with my work. Que es el uno. My work. With your yes. work. Está saliendo okay. con su trabajo, right? <laughs> no, no, sería también. <laughs> Creo que I am dating with you. se le podría agregar eh, mi tra con mi trabajo y mi. Pero es que dating mi... es como más que todo con una cita que usted ah, está teniendo. Ajá. Ok. okay. Yes. I'm dating with, por ejemplo, Stella. I'm dating with eh, my friends, for example, my best friend. Ok. Ok, ahí está. Ok, what about with why? ¿Qué, ¿Qué pregunta podemos hacer con why, guys? Uh -huh. Con why. ¿Qué pregunta podemos hacer con why? Uh -huh. Con why. Why are you cooking? Ok, yes, right. Why are you cooking? ¿Por qué estás cocinando? Why are you cooking? I am cooking because it's my mother's because birthday. Yes. Because yes, right. Oh, because it's it's my uh, mother's mother's birthday. Porque el cumpleaños de my mother, right? Because I'm hungry. Because I'm hungry, también. Because I'm hungry. Ok, let's see. El how often yo me quedaría más que todo cuando estemos utilizando los frequency adverbs. El which también me inclinaría más por los, el simple present. ¿Qué pasa con how many? ¿Podemos hacer una pregunta con how many? En presente continuo. Uh -huh. uh, how many people are swimming in the pool? Yes, right. How many people? Yes. How many persons? También. How many persons are swimming in the pool, right? In the pool. Teacher. Hmm? ¿Sí? Uh, what, is that, what is the difference uh, entre why and because? Okay, muy bien. Why, vamos a utilizarlo únicamente en preguntas. ¿Por qué? Solo vamos a utilizar para questions. Y el because lo vamos a utilizar para las respuestas. Por ejemplo, why are you studying? ¿Por qué está estudiando? Why are you studying? Ahí lo estamos utilizando como pregunta. Because I need to earn more money, right? Porque necesito ganar más dinero. Ok, entonces, significan por qué las dos, solo que eh, una es para pregunta y el otro es para la respuesta. Ok. Ok, there it is. Con el because, okay. teacher, con el because, uh -huh. cuando uh -huh. utilizan una forma, he visto que utilizan una forma contractada, ¿eso es muy informal? O, o, ah, la forma cause? del cause, cause. Uh -huh. Sí, eso, eso es más informal. Está el cause de esa forma y si se así en los textos, en mensajes de texto, va a ver también que utilizan el cause de esta forma. Ajá, exacto, también así. Son eh, más que todo informal, por ejemplo, con sus amigos, cuando usted esté en la calle, you can use cause también. Pero ya como, por cuando ejemplo, escriben, como cuando escriben qué con K. Exacto, lo... exacto, lo mismo, lo, okay. mismo, lo mismo. Ellos también utilizan bastante. Por ejemplo, hay visto un for, to, tomorrow, para decir mañana, ¿verdad? Dicen a veces for, tomorrow. Ajá, o por ejemplo, Utiliz ponen G9, 
para hacer good night. Sí, sí, es cierto. Sí, ah. hay muchas formas. Te lo voy a compartir, esos también. Ok, no sé si hay dudas, questions. No, teacher. No, questions, no. dígame. Rose, yes. Eh, en este caso, en las BH, eh, no entra how much. How much? Sí. Bien, how much también, WH, sí. Por ejemplo, podemos agregar una acá. How much money are you making? How much money are, are you, making you making with Bitcoin? With Bitcoins, right? <laughs> zero, because I'm not rich. <laughs> zero money, zero. How much money are you making? I am making, for example, $40,000 per year. $40,000, right? Okay, too much, too much. Ok, ahí está, guys. No sé si hay dudas. Siempre mantengamos el orden, ¿verdad? De la pregunta. WH question, verb to be, subject, and the verb with ing. Ese es el, es el orden que no debemos de cambiarlo en el caso de questions. Ok, no sé si hay dudas. If not, ahora sí vamos a trabajar en los breakout rooms y vamos a practicar mm -hmm. everything that we have studied here. On time, yeah. Uh -huh. No questions? No, teacher. Ok, let's go to the breakout rooms. Pero todavía está funcionando el WhatsApp. Ya está funcionando, right? Yes. 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 Ok, entonces les comparto ahí eh, las actividades and then you, you complete the, the exercise, right? So let's practice and uh, okay, we are a few students today. I don't know what happened. Here we are one, two, three, four. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Okay, so almost. Four, four, five. Okay, let's go. Let's see.
¿verdad? Pero es que la pregunta dice, ¿a dónde está? Hello. Uh -huh. Hello. Hola. Hello, ¿dónde? Hello. Ajá. Te está bendecido, Carlos. ¿Por qué? <risa> ah. <risa> sí. Ok, tell me the questions, tell me the questions. En la segunda tenemos dudas. En la segunda, ajá. ¿En la segunda parte o en la segunda eh, pregunta? En la, la segunda, segunda pregunta. En la primera. Ponce, la primera, dice... Donde la chica está en la montaña rusa. Uh -huh. es, dice, where she go. Ajá. Entonces, o sea, este, lo que pensamos es que puede ser, porque la pregunta para nosotros es, where is she going? Uh -huh. Entonces, hemos puesto, she is going down. Mm, o oh, we can oh, say... ella está gritando. Pero es que no. como dice, pregunta, ¿dónde? Ajá, ¿dónde? Exacto. Where is she going? She's going maybe to the souvenirs. She's going to the... To the souvenirs. La montaña park. rusa. En el parque. Yes, or in the park también. She's going to the park. Mm -hmm. okay. Muy bien. Ok, no okay. sé si tengamos dudas con la segunda parte. No la hemos revisado. Eh. Ok, ok, ok. Ok, en la segunda parte lo que vamos a hacer es, por ejemplo, de acuerdo al, a la palabra que tengamos encerrada, así vamos a hacer la pregunta, la WH question. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, ¿qué pregunta podemos hacer? Ashley is going to a restaurant. ¿A dónde va Ashley? Where? Ajá, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Where is she? Where is she? Where is Going to Ashley. Where is, mm. is Ashley? Go. Going to. Carlos. Mm. <risa> What Carlos? <happens>, mm. <risa> Where is she? She, is she, going, going, going. Where is she going? Solo está ahí. Where is she going? Okay. Y la respuesta, she's going to a restaurant. Ok, de acuerdo a la información que tenemos en Bolt, esa es la que ah. vamos a utilizar. Teacher, okay. y cuando, teacher, cuando ahí lleva Ashley, significa ella, ¿verdad? Sí. Podemos omitirle una pregunta, por ejemplo, ahí podemos decir, no, no se puede, o no es permitido hacer un regla, que dice, que diga, where is Ashley so, going? Así, ah, sí, podemos escribir también, podemos okay. escribir el, el nombre, where is mm, Ashley going? going. Sí, okay. Porque se está sustituyendo el sujeto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Podemos hacer eso. Ok, Perfect. let's continue, let's continue. I let you work, guys. Nombre. Con cara de niña. niña. Questions, do you have questions? Hello. Uh, hello. hello. Questions. Yo creo que sí es niña, fíjate. Hola, teacher, espérame, que no se ha dado cuenta que está aquí usted, teacher. <risa> ok, uh, questions, ¿estamos bien? Eh, Revísenos, sí. creo que vamos bien, teacher, pero usted nos dirá lo mejor. Ok, veamos. Where are they going? They are going to school. Where is she going? She's going to a museum park. Muy bien. Where, what is he eating? He's eating pizza. Who is Tom? Uh -huh. Muy bien. Pero eating está bien escrito. Eating, eating, sin la T. Ahí hay dos T. Démosle una. Uh -huh. Veamos. Sí, estamos bastante bien. Con la segunda parte no sé si hay dudas. Ahí solamente tenemos que también este, ordenar las oraciones, ¿verdad? No. Ahí, te, de acuerdo a la palabra que está en, en, en bold, en negrita, de acuerdo a eso vamos a crear la pregunta. Ah, ok. Ok. De acuerdo a la respuesta vamos a crear la pregunta. Ah, ok. Ok. Let's continue. Ok. okay.
Hello, guys. No sé si hay dudas, questions. Hello, teacher. No, pero nos uh -huh. estamos comunicando por mensaje porque está lloviendo en ambos lados y no nos escuchamos. Ah, ok. Así que okay. nos vamos a, a demorar un poquito más. <risa> bueno, no hay problema. Ok, ok, no problem. No sé si hay dudas, eh, questions. En, en la dos, en la dos. Nosotros, como ahí dice que está haciendo ella, va como en una montaña rusa, ¿no? Amusement park. Roller coaster. Roller coaster. ¿Cómo? O oh, amusement park. She's going to the amusement park. Amusement park. Okay, diversión. She's going to the amusement park. Exactly. Okay, thank okay. you. Okay, perfect. Let's continue.
Porque yo la estaba... Hola, hola. Yo la estaba haciendo de una forma. Hola, Ali. Dígame. Una, 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 una cuestión. Este, ¿Verdad que en la segunda parte vamos a utilizar la WS question? Sí. No es solamente una pregunta normal. No que, eh, por ejemplo, la primera que dice, Ashley is going to a restaurant. Uh -huh. Eso sería como, where is Ashley going? Yes, exactly. Así sería. Yes? yes exactly. Yes. Ok, ok. No le entendíamos muy bien ahí esa partecita. Nos había abandonado. <risa> Ustedes no quieren hablar. Vale. Ya vamos a terminar. Tienen la, la cámara apagada. No, no nos quieren hablar. No, es que, es que ando, es que como ando todo mocoso, todo así, me, les puedo pagar la gripe. <risa> bueno, está bien, me voy a poner la mascarilla, pues. Vaya. Ok, let's go. Vamos a terminar, solo nos faltan nueve. Ok, 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 ok. Continue, guys. Hello, Benjamin. Did you finish? Terminamos, Benjamin. Hola, hola. Hello. <laughs> Terminamos. Did you finish? La segunda parte, no. La primera, sí. La primera, sí. Okay, help me. The first one. Ya si no le escucho. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la primera? The first one. Where? ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Eh, la primera, de la primera parte. Sí, la primera, yes. 
Uh, uh, where are they going? Um, no. Where? Are. Where are, muy bien. Where are they going? No nos olvidemos del are, ¿ok? Vamos a ver number two. ¿Cómo nos quedaría, Ibeth? Number two. Where? Is she going? Where is she going? Ok, perfect. What about three rows? What? What is he eating? Yes, what is he eating for, Carlos? Number four. Hmm? Uh, who is Tom playing soccer with? Yes, right. Who is Tom playing soccer with? What about five, Grace? What about five? What? No, quedó. What are? Espérame. Uh -huh. Sí, esa era. Uh, what are we doing? Yes, what are we doing? We are reading. Very good, Grace. What about six, Raúl? What about six? Who? Uh -huh. Who? Dime un segundo, Ticho. Who? Number six, ¿verdad? Number six, yes. Who? Who? Who is she talking with? Yes, who is she talking with? No nos olvidemos del bear to be right. Who is she talking with? Ok, hagamos this one. Esta, right, esta es la. The want. Ok, y Beth, what is the first one? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la primera, y Beth? Where is she going? Yes, right. Where is she going? ¿A dónde está yendo ella? Where is she going? Okay, she's going or Ashley is going to a restaurant. Okay, uh, let's see. Rose, number two. Gareth is reading the paper. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la pregunta? What is, is the garden reading? Yes, what is... Gareth reading, mm. right? Yes, exactly. She's reading. She's reading. She's reading the paper. She's reading. Um. She, no. She, um, mm -mm. Tenemos Gareth, verdad? Que es el, el lo que está en bold. Entonces nos tenemos que hacer la pregunta quién. Uh -huh. Entonces sería who is Reading, who the is paper. reading, exacto, the paper. Who is reading the paper? ¿Quién lo está leyendo? Gareth is reading the paper. Okay, good. What about three, Juan Antonio? Stacy is playing in the garden. Sería, where is Stacy playing? Yes, exactly, where... Where is Stacy playing? She's playing in the garden. Yeah. Okay. What about four, Grace? What about four, Grace? Teacher, sorry, pero nos quedamos en la tres. <laughs> ah, no, Grace. Okay. Let's. Eh, veamos si me ayuda, Carlos. Can you help me? She is wearing. Okay. Está fuerte. Está lloviendo, right? Okay, Carlos, please. Sorry. Number... She is wearing a red dress. She's wearing a red dress. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Number four. Number four. Uh -huh. eh... Eh, sería who is. Uh -huh. Who is. Eh... Uh -huh. Who is she wearing? Uh -uh. Who is wearing? No, 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 no. He is, he, who is uh -huh. wearing? Yeah. She is wearing a red dress. Yes, exactly. Who is wearing a red dress? ¿Quién está usando? El vestido rojo, red dress. Okay, guys. Por el tiempo no vamos a alcanzar a terminar. Solo les pediría que las podamos compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp. Y tenemos un minuto, podemos completar el quiz número 13, ¿ok? Don't forget to complete.
quiz number 13. Mientras tanto, me quedo con los que se me han quedado, right? Que se me han hecho. Y veamos. Estamos en el quiz. Si no alcanzamos a terminar el quiz, don't worry, mañana les voy a dar tiempo. Número Unos, 13, ¿verdad? Sí, es el número 13. Cinco preguntitas, ¿ok? Veamos, eh, Benjamín, sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, veamos, Grace, ¿está ahí? Are you there, Grace? Yep. Yes, sí, teacher. Yes. Ingresé un poquito tarde porque no tenía carga. Ok. En el teléfono. Mejor tarde que nunca, Grace. Ok. It's better sí, late than bye. never. <laughs> ok, good. Let's see, Juan Antonio. ¿Estuvo Juan? Creo que sí, ¿verdad? Juan, Juan, ahí Creo está, que Juan. Sí, yo digo que sí también. Okay. <ríe> no se va a olvidar completar el quiz número 13, ¿ok? Y yes. Karen Ivonne no estuvo, María tampoco, y Jancy sí me recuerdo que la vi. Recuerdo que estuvo un par de minutos. Ok, guys, si no hay más dudas, los dejo descansar. Have a good night and rest a lot. Ok, see you tomorrow, guys. All right. Bye bye. Tomorrow, bye bye. Bye bye. Si alguien se quiere quedar, me voy a quedar. 13, 13, Juan. 13. Sí. Ok. Si alguien se quiere quedar, I'm going to stay here, ok? Just in case. Benjamín, Somebody quiere. Benjamín quiere, ya se fue. <laughs> ah, no, See you, Juan. teacher. See you, Juan. Take care. Good night. Good night.